Recursion can have different variations direct, indirect, nested, excessive, tail and so on. In our earlier videos we have discussed direct and indirect recursion. In this particular session we are discussing the nested recursion. So, what is the nested recursion? Okay, so, we are discussing this one. Please watch the previous videos we have discussed the direct recursion and indirect recursion with the proper example. Here in this case also nested recursion we shall give an example of Ackermann function. So, that is Wilhelm Ackermann in the year 1928 he proposed this particular function. Okay. So, the name is so that is Wilhelm Ackermann in the year 1928. So, this is a very famous function see a and m, n and m are two input arguments. So, we will have the value m plus 1 if n is equal to 0. So, a and m will be having the value n plus 1 if n is equal to 0. But if n is greater than 0, that means if n is not equal to 0 or greater than 0, but m is 0, that is the second argument is 0, but the first argument is not 0, then I shall go for recursion that is a n minus 1, 1. So, I shall pass the first argument as n minus 1 and the second argument as 1. Now, look at it, it is a nested. So, otherwise if n and m both are non-zero, that means greater than 0. So, a n minus 1 and a n m minus 1, the output argument will be the input argument for this particular function a. And in this way, uh, this particular calling will take place if n and m is greater than 0. So, that is the proposal came from uh, this argument. Okay. Now, see if I want to trace this particular nested recursion, let us suppose I want to, I want to take this, um, uh, I want to call this a 1 2. So, what is 1? So, n is equal to 1 and m is equal to 2 in my calling because n m, n m. So, n is equal to 1 and m is equal to 2. So, see what is happening. So, a 1 2 means you see it is not match, it, it is also not matching, it is not matching, it is not matching, but it is matching because both of them are not equal to 0. So, then I shall go for a n minus 1, n means this one. So, it is 0 and this is my a n m minus 1. So, a 1 and 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay. Now, a 1 1 will be traced, will be called. Now, a 1 1. So, a 1 1 means which one? I think it will be again taken this one because both of them are greater than 0, not, not equal to 0. So, it will become a n minus 1. So, that will become your uh, 0 and this is my 1 n m minus 1. So, it will become 0, it is become 1. So, I am just, just under this one maintaining the indentation. So, I am just under this one I am calling this one. So, now I shall, I shall have to go for this a 1 0. So, 0 means which one? The m is 0. That means I shall be calling this one. It is applicable because m is 0. So, now it will call as n minus 1. So, 1 minus 1. So, that will be 0 and 1. So, that is 1. Now, I shall concentrate on this a 0 1. So, here this is this one is 0. Which is 0? n is 0. So, n is 0 means it will be having the value m plus 1. So, what is m? m is 1. So, 1 plus 1. What is that? 2. So, it is getting the value 2, it is getting the value 2, that means it is calling a 0 2, it is calling a 0 2, I think you are getting. It is getting value 2, that means it is getting value 2, it is getting value 2, it is getting value 2, so that means I am calling a 0 2, so that is a 0 2. So, n is equal to 0, that means again it is coming to this condition. So, m plus 1, what is m? 2, so 2 plus 1, what is the value? 3. So, a 0 2 has become 3. So, this is becoming 3. So, this is becoming 3. So, this is becoming 3. So, 0 3. I think you are getting this one. It is 3 means a 0 2 is 3. a 0 2 means this one. So, it is becoming 3. That means it is becoming 3. So, it is becoming 3. So, 0 3. So, a 0 3. So, again it is n is equal to 0. So, it is uh, satisfying this one. So, m plus 1. So, what is m here? 3. What is m plus 1? 4. So, it is giving me the value 4. So, a 1 2. 
So A12 is equal to 4. In this way, this is known as nested recursion. You see, this particular function call is calling another function and within that function, another, another time the function has been called to pass the second argument. So this is known as the nested recursion. So we have discussed this. In the next videos, we'll be going for excessive and tail recursion. Please watch all of them because they are in the continuation of this particular video. And thanks for watching this one.